Until now, we've been looking at variables which are either numeric variables, which can store either integer values or fractional values, double values, or we've been looking at variables which are character strings, string variables. In this lecture, we'll take a look at Boolean variables. Now, Boolean variables can store only true or false. Okay, so these are called truth values sometimes. So they can store only true or false, and there are many applications for these, as we will shortly see. So after completing this lesson, you will be able to explain the difference between Boolean and numeric variables, and also character string variables. You will know that the only two Boolean constants are true and false. You will be able to write expressions whose result is a Boolean value. To take a simple example, suppose I write the expression x greater than 5. Well, this is either true or false, depending on the value of x. And you will be able to list the various comparison operators that R supports. Let's get right to it. What is the result of evaluating the following expression, 5 greater than 3? Well, we know that the result is true, because 5 happens to be greater than 3. So that's it. And this is a Boolean value. right? This can either be true or false, and this one happens to be true. So true and false are the only Boolean constants. Unlike integers, where you've got many constants, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, you know, there are many, many constants in integers, whereas with Booleans, there are only two possibilities, either true or false. So suppose we assign the value 5 to x, and we assign the value 3 to y, and then we evaluate the expression y greater than x. Right, so that's an expression, y greater than x. It's either true or it's false. So greater than is a comparison operator. And the result of this expression is a Boolean. It's either true or false. In this case, we happen to know that the result is false. Because 3 is not greater than 5. 3 is actually less than 5. So let's do the same thing again. x is 5, y is 3. And then we evaluate the expression y double equals x. Okay, that is, we are saying, is y equal to x? So this is the comparison operator, two equal signs. The single equal sign is not a comparison operator because you will recall that the single equal sign is our assignment operator. So if we just wrote y equals x, that would mean assigning the value of x to the variable called y. That's not what we are doing. We've already got values in x and y. All we are trying to do is to compare the two of them to see whether they are equal or not. In this case, the result again is false because they're not equal. One is 3, the other is 5. They're not equal. Okay, So double equals is the comparison operator. Single equals is the assignment operator. Comparison operators, as we can understand, they return Boolean results because the result is either true or false. So for example, x greater than y. Depending on the values of x and y, this is either true or false. Height less than 200. Once again, depending on the value of height, this is either true or false. Assuming that there are two variables, sales 1 and sales 2, both of which have some values, whether the two of them are equal or not depend on their value, depends on their values. And there are many other comparison operators. So here we have looked at three comparison operators, greater than, less than, and double equals. But you also have, of course, less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to, double equals. And this operator here, exclamation equals, is the not equals operator. Right, so here you're comparing two things for equality. Sometimes you may just want to know if two things are unequal. So in that case, you will use not equal to as a comparator, comparison operator. And all of these return Boolean result, either true or false, depending on what arguments you supply to these operators. So you could have, till now, we only looked at Boolean constants, true and false. And just like you can assign the number 5 to a variable called x, you can assign the Boolean constants also to variables. So for example, I can say, assign the value true to the variable x. Now we will rarely have to do this because we won't be directly dealing with Booleans like this, Boolean constants. Most of the time we'll be dealing with expressions whose return value is Boolean. But in order for us to discuss certain things, we need to understand this. So that's why we, I'm getting into this. So I'm assigning the value false to y. But just like you can assign a Boolean constant to a variable, 
you can also assign the result of a Boolean expression to a variable. Right? So this is a little tricky to wrap your head around. This is something that's pretty unusual. You don't often see something like this. But here what we are saying is on the this is of course the assignment operator as we all know and here is an expression 5 greater than 3. It's a Boolean expression and this expression happens to have the value true because 5 is greater than 3. So what we are doing is we are effectively assigning the value true to the variable x. Once again this is not something we will do ordinarily. You will we'll be doing this indirectly not directly and we'll shortly see how that works. Okay, But try to understand what's going on here. This looks like a crazy expression uh, but you can see the meaning. right? So you're saying on the right hand side is 5 greater than 3 which is true. We happen to know that and we are simply assigning true to x. So in some sense this is actually the same as that where we are actually directly assigning the value true to x. Okay, so that's what is the, this is saying. Right hand side evaluates to true and therefore x is assigned the value true. Again, I hasten to add this is not something we'll have to do directly but you need to understand this concept. Here we are assigning the value false to y. So we have learnt in this lesson that Boolean variables can store only the values true or false and those are the only two Boolean constants. We also saw that comparison expressions, for example, x greater than 5, all of these expressions return Boolean results. In other words, the result of such expressions is either true or false. And we also saw that R supports these comparison operators less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to, and double equal to, which is a comparison for equality, and not equal to, when you want to compare and see if two things are not equal. And incidentally, the word Boolean actually comes from the British logician George Boole. He was the person who first introduced computation with truth values, true and false, and he actually founded the basis for uh, symbolic logic. Of course, we don't get into all of that now, but he has played a very important role in computer science because after all, you know that computer science occurs uh, basically with 0 and 1. Everything on in a digital computer is constructed out of 0 and 1 and basically true false is also 1 and 0 and a lot of the work that George Boole did has played a role in the evolution of computer science and that's why these variables are called Boolean variables.